All right, we are rolling. All right, Nathaniel. <laughs> Move on. Next question. Chinese New Year is coming this February 12th in 2021. So we thought it'd be a hilarious idea to ask our Australian, UK, and American teams questions around the culture and traditions around Chinese New Year. Let's just see how they fended and what they really know. Why do Chinese people make such a racket and mess with firecrackers during the Chinese New Year? Let me just take a quick little gander here. Okay, I'm good with videos. <laughs> oh my God. It's like Bankstown on a Saturday night, yep. They're lighting up those firecrackers in the streets. My God, I don't know. You're really, really testing me now. How do you have like quiet fireworks? I think like any celebration, we like fireworks, we like noise, we like explosions. Because they're trying to be more like their American counterparts. <laughs> Scare away some bad spirits, some bad vibes. Well, I guess it's celebration, isn't it? It's, I mean, one day out of the year. Can, can we party? Can we, can we <laughs> light up some firecrackers? Firecrackers symbolize Excitement. Entering the new year with a bang. I think that's to ward off spirits or evil spirits from the previous year with the rat that wasn't very good. And it's fun. I mean, making a mess is fun, so. Doing something memorable that make, really marks the start of something. The cracking of a new year. Getting everyone hyped up for a Chinese New Year. It's just another reason to just you play with fire, and it's kind of fun. Pun intended. <laughs> and the businessmen in suits, I'm not sure why they're there at all, actually. Maybe they were just having yum cha, and they walked out onto the street. What do you think the reason is behind this tradition? I, I kind of want to say something to do with, I don't know, a big war or something. You know, it's probably some, like, gunpowder merchant. You are exploding the negativity in your life. That's what the fireworks represent. Yeah, just to start a party. I don't even know what the reason behind 4th of July is, so... It's really dangerous. <laughs> How can I normalize this in broader, you know, in, throughout the dynasty? Big bangs going off at each other. It's very similar to like gunpowder and, and that sort of thing. Well, that's, that's sort of where it came from, I guess, so... It's very mountainous in China. So they used to have to blow holes through mountains to make roads to get to somewhere. So like every time you set off one firework or these firecrackers, that, that represents one piece of negativity that is just poof, it's gone. It's no longer. Maybe I can tether this incredible thing <laughs> to the new year. So they used to use gunpowder and dynamite to blow holes in mountains to, to get through to new horizons and new beginnings. Ushering in luck, scaring away bad Demons. It brings you so much joy and to follow up, that's why people are so loud, because they're so happy that this negativity is just gone. So how accurate do you think they were in their answers and replies? I'm not too brushed up on my Chinese New Year. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm guessing. Find out the answers and our Asia team's reactions to these videos in the upcoming Chinese New Year. Stay tuned tomorrow for our global team's hilarious answers and reactions to question number five, Lion Dance. <laughs>